Images from above are the focus of tonight's Up Close. Images taken by astronaut Leroy Chow, who spent six months flying aboard the International Space Station. Here's 11 News reporter Nancy Holland with an out-of-this-world look at some of the 16,000 stunning photographs he brought down to Earth. Leroy Chow looked down and saw a world of pictures to be taken. Well, this is the uh, Russian service module. This is kind of the heart of the station. Over here are the three windows that we shot from. Not large. No, very small portholes. One, two, three. The station mock-up shows he didn't have much room to maneuver. But as the Earth raced by at 17,500 miles an hour, he wedged himself and shot. As you can see, this lens almost fills the window. And so you've got to kind of brace yourself, maybe use, you know, some toes to hold onto a handrail and maybe a hand to steady yourself, but then get ready for your shot. And as, as the world goes by, you know, you try to pan that, that uh, target while you're shooting. He produced images of stunning beauty. These are the Tokan Lakes in Egypt. And um, this water here is, of course, normally blue. This isn't ice or anything. This is, again, using sun glint, reflecting off the water into the lens. It makes it look like it's quicksilver or just liquid, liquid metal of some kind. So this kind of a photo, it doesn't even look real. He proved you can see the Great Wall of China from space, took pictures of Beijing in the snow. The Sahara became abstract art. If you start looking closely at it, and especially through a telephoto, you start seeing these intricate patterns in the sand dunes, and it's just uh, Mother Nature again showing her beauty. And pictures show with crystal clarity what man has built. If I wanted to find West 57th Street, I could probably, you probably find could it. probably could do it, right. Yeah, I've had uh, I have friends that live in Manhattan, and they've been able to find their apartment buildings and the office buildings where they work. Well, this is the camera that we used uh, on board. This the technical side of Leroy Chow right. learned to use the camera, the powerful telephoto lens, and six megapixel resolution. How to pan the movement so the image didn't smear. He found looking through the lens led him to a bigger view. You know, the earth is beautiful. Every part is beautiful in its own way. And intellectually, I know that when we're flying over an area where there's a war or there's hunger or strife, you know what's going on down there. People are dying at that moment you're flying over. Yet it, it appears to be, even through the telephoto, it appears to be just peaceful and beautiful. And that's a hard thing to, to reconcile. From a Chinese launch pad, another nation of humans will reach for space. A Russian rocket brings dinner on Christmas Day. The Roy Chow's work is the deep blue of Earth's deep places. This is the uh, Himalaya Mountains between Nepal and China, and this was kind of neat. When I shot this photo, I had the feeling of falling into that crevasse. It is the equally deep blue of space, and a picture that says to him, dreams. The Roy Chow will not fly again. But with 16,000 photographs, space, earth, and dreams will never really be far away. <laughs> Nancy Holland, 11 News, up close. Aren't those great pictures? And if you like them, Chow says that he might even do a book of his work.